A manhunt ended today when the fugitive was captured on a Wisconsin farm. Joseph Jakubowski is accused of making threats in a manifesto mailed to President Trump. Here's DeMarco Morgan. We said all along we wanted a peaceful resolution to this situation, and today we have that conclusion. A 10-day manhunt involving more than 250 law enforcement officers ended after a farmer spotted Joseph Jakubowski camping on his property. Jeffrey Gorn spoke to Jakubowski for about an hour, but then became suspicious. The one thing he said over and over is no one listens to me. Jakubowski had the state of Wisconsin on edge all week after allegedly stealing 18 weapons and sending an anti-government manifesto to the White House. Police confiscated four handguns, a long rifle, a samurai-type sword, a bulletproof vest, several boxes of ammunition, and a copy of his 161-page manifesto. Rock County Sheriff Robert Spoten. This was a big deal. This was probably the largest manhunt in our careers. The FBI offered a $20,000 reward for his capture that led to more than 700 tips regarding Jakubowski's whereabouts. But it only took one tip to find him. It was a good tip from the farmer. Now, Jakubowski is no stranger to law enforcement. He served prison time for attacking and trying to disarm a police officer eight years ago. Anthony, he faced a federal judge in Madison earlier today and is here at the Rock County Jail being booked. DeMarco Morgan, thanks, DeMarco.